And there are so many things people may ask about guardian angels. Many people want to know the details about the guardian angels. And uh, some people ask, Father, are we allowed to name our guardian angels? What is the position of the church? And um, there are also people say, how many guardian angels for each one? And there are so many questions people do ask. So before uh, we speak about all these and give an answer for all these, I would like to uh, speak to you the natures and characters of angels, guardian angels, or all the angels. And uh, we all know, we all are familiar with the prayer to guardian angel. So let us recite that prayer first before we start this uh, talk on guardian angels. Let's all pray together this prayer. Angel of God, God my, my guardian, guardian dear, dear, to whom, whom God's, God's love, love commits, commits me here, here. Ever, Ever this day, be at, be at my side, to light and guide, God, to rule and guide, and, and me. Praise the Lord. Praise uh, the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. My dear brothers and sisters, I don't know how many of you know this prayer. This prayer is supposed to be recited by everyone. Normally the parents make sure that their chil children study this by heart. And this is one of the first prayers the parents teach their children because the parents are worried about the protection of the children and therefore they make sure that the children are uh, aware of this uh, prayer and they pray this prayer by heart every day so that the guardian angel will guard them from all dangers and all the problems of their daily life. So that's why mo normally this prayer is recited mostly by the children. But in fact, this prayer God has given us to all the people, even adults, even old people too. Because guardian angels are there appointed by God, not only for the children, but for every humanity, human being, from the moment you are born in the womb of your mother. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And just for a historical fact, you know, we are here in Divinity Center. Divinity Center means this is St. Augustine's Abbey. It was a Benedictine monastery before we came here. It was from this monastery, the Benedictines, we bought this Abbey. This, is ab this Abbey is called St. Augustine's Abbey, almost 200 years old. And then before this, which was built here, the St. Augustine's Abbey was in Canterbury, just half an hour distance from this place. And from the 6th century, when St. Augustine of Canterbury, who is a Benedictine monk, who landed here in Can uh, Ramsgate first, and then he went to Canterbury and he established the St. Augustine's Abbey there in Canterbury. And from then, there are so many holy monks lived there in St. Augustine's Abbey, Canterbury. But during the Reformation time, Henry VIII, the King Henry VIII, destroyed that St. Augustine's Abbey. And then later, once the Catholic Church regained the freedom to, uh, uh, to uh, act to freedom to uh, uh, you know worship uh, in publicly and that is when this St. Augustine's Abbey was built and that continuation of that St. Augustine's Abbey from Canterbury was shifted to this place and this in this church in this chapel where we are celebrating this holy mass the Benedictine monks used to sit around and celebrate mass and pray together for so many uh, uh, more around 200 years and the continuation of that St. Augustine's Abbey. And why do I say this? Because I just want to tell you a secret. Uh, that is this, you know, this prayer, angel, uh, guardian angel prayer. It was first written by a Benedictine monk from the St. Augustine's Abbey, Canterbury. And uh, it was, for so many years, it was believed St. Anselm, St. Anselm of uh, Canterbury was the one who wrote it. But later, the recent scholars say it was a monk, Blessed Reginald of Canterbury, is the one who wrote this prayer in the almost uh, around the 11th century or something. And uh, it was from this abbey, St. Augustine's Abbey, 
this prayer started and now went around the whole world and therefore on this garden angels feast day when we celebrate the holy mass in the saint augustine's abbey it is a great thing and we let's thank the lord that the lord has used this abbey to uh, start this prayer of garden angel praise the lord, praise the lord. Uh, hallelujah hallelujah thank you jesus thank you jesus now when we speak about garden angels there are millions and billions of angels you know according to the teaching of the church there are nine grades of angels nine grades of angels let us see the grades of angels there are nine grades of angels seraphim cherubim thrones dominions virtues powers principalities archangels angels so these are the nine sections uh, of angels but how many totally how many angels are there but for each individual there is an angel for each individual each human being is born in on this earth there is an angel assigned for them so once one person dies the angel goes back to heaven he will not be assigned for another person because one angel is for one human being forever for eternity that means from the beginning of universe until now there are billions of human beings came and went came born and died for each and every one of them there was an angel praise the lord praise the lord so if that's the case you can imagine how many billions and billions myriads upon myriads of angels were here are here in this world in this universe that is why some scholars say 99 percentage of god's creations are invisible god created this whole universe we can see the whole universe planets solar system clusters and supernova all these things we see through our um, you know uh, all our binoculars or maybe uh, uh, the most powerful advanced um, uh, uh, the binoculars whatever that we use and we are able to see and find the whole universe most of it and lots of it not most of it uh, lots of it but the scholars the church fathers everyone believe that out of all these creations of god 99 percentage of the creations of god are invisible to the human eyes let us read colossians chapter 1 verse 16 colossians chapter 1 verse 16 let us read this word of god uh, okay was uh, 15 or onwards let us read colossians he is the image of the invisible god jesus is the image of invisible god continue an invisible god the first born of all creation and then verse 16 for in him all things in heaven and on earth were created the creator things in heaven and on earth visible and invisible whether thrones or dominions or continue or rulers or powers these are different varieties of levels of angels all things have been created through him and for him so you can imagine how important jesus because the whole creations in heaven and on earth we see only what is here on earth but there are there are creatures creations in heaven there are creations which are invisible visible and invisible so there are millions there are billions of creatures invisible to our human eyes praise the lord praise the lord so it is biblically proved and it is also the belief of the early christians not only that the belief of the angels are there from the beginning of the bible until the end in book of genesis we speak about angels the angels are guarding the paradise and we see angels appearing to the patriarchs many times abraham isaac jacob and jacob he saw the visions of angels coming down and going up all of them have powerful encounters with the angels this is one of the most powerful beliefs of the church the angels reality of angel and existence of angel is one of a profession of faith so my dear brothers and sisters why because from the beginning of creation and and even now and it is there is encounters of angels written in the bible and also in the salvation history who announced the annunciation angel 
Angel Gabriel announced the Annunciation. Who was the one who was protecting the Holy Family? Angel coming to announcing through the dreams, through visions to Saint Joseph. And he was the one who was protecting the Holy Family because of the guidance and help from the angel, guardian angel. For the Holy Family, the guardian angel was Angel Gabriel. So uh, Angel Gabriel led them through protections. And later we can see when Jesus was going through the temptations, 40 days of fasting. During that, those days, angels came and waited on him. Not one, but many angels. Jesus had many angels. So each one is a pointer. Uh, one angel is appointed to each and every human being. The moment you are born in, your, in the womb of your mother, an angel is appointed by God to take care of you. To help you and to support you. Praise the Lord. Praise and Lord. what is the duty of angel? Angel is not a name. Remember, angel means is a messenger. So angel is said is the uh, is not the name of the person, but it is the duty of the person. Angel means it's a duty. What is the duty? Give message, messenger, or minister. So that is the meaning of angel. Praise the Lord. Praise and Lord. let us read. Hebrew chapter 1 verse 14. Hebrew chapter 1 verse 14. We read like this. We read like this. Are not all angels spirits? See, angels do not have body. They have spiritual bodies. They, have, they are spirits. They have spiritual body. And they have spiritual identity. They have intellect. They have will. Are not all angel spirits in the divine service sent to serve for the sake of those who are to inherit salvation? See, angels are the spirits in the divine service sent to serve. The angels are sent by God to serve the people of God for the sake of those who are to inherit salvation. So the angels are appointed to serve you for the sake of salvation. Now listen very carefully my dear brothers and sisters. Who is the authority of the guardian angel? You are not the authority of the guardian angel. Guardian angel is, the, uh, is submissive to heavenly father and Jesus Christ and the Holy Spirit. Guardian angels always listen to them. And guardian angels are there appointed by them to help you, to support you. To serve you. You cannot control them. You cannot control them. But, but you can request them. They will help you. You are not the authority. You are not the ruler of them. But you can be ruled by them. Because if you are submissive to the angel. You will be ruled by them. That is why. The church always say. It is discouraged from the church. To name your angel. So there are many people who say, Father, shall I name my guardian angel? As per the rule of the church, especially it is written in the directory on popular piety and liturgy, the principles and guidelines published by Vatican from the Congregation for Divine Worship. There is a document sent, uh, you know, published by Congregation for Divine Worship. Article or paragraph number 217 says very clearly the church discourages people from naming their guardian angels. Why? The reason why we are not allowed to na uh, name your guardian angel because when you name somebody that means you are the author, you are the authority of that thing. That is why after the creation, God brought all the things, all the animals in front of Adam and Adam was naming them because God entrusted the whole world under the authority of Adam. That is why he was naming. That's why when a child is born, the father has the right and duty to, to name. But with regard to Jesus, Mother Mary, you know, uh, uh, the name was already given. You know, God the father appointed the name. And told, okay, you give this name, this name. For even for Mother Mary, the tradition says the name was already revealed from heaven and said this name should be given. Even the John the Baptist, because they are heavenly beings and they are sent from heaven. 
they are messengers uh, 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 you know for the salvation so that is why the name was given from heaven so otherwise it is the father or mother especially the father is the, the one who is naming the child so that means you are authority you are full control that's why when you buy a pet dogs you name them you name those dogs or maybe any pet dog that you name because that is under your authority so guardian angels are under the authority of god they are appointed by god to rule and guide that's why we pray angel of, the guardian angel prayer to rule and guide to rule us to guide us to help us to support us and therefore it is god who has already named them they have a name and god has named them we don't need to name them and control them praise the lord praise uh, the lord. hallelujah hallelujah and that's how uh, that's about the naming of guardian angels in case if you have named your angel don't worry it is not a, a sin as such it's only discouraged from the church the church discourages people that's all praise the lord, praise the lord. it's not a matter of uh, sin or uh, virtues but now let's my dear brothers and sisters there are so many characters characteristics for angels and uh, of course okay when i was speak, speaking about the names of angels the church discourages people from naming the angels but at the same time three names are allowed allowed permitted angel gabriel raphael michael because those names are already revealed to us in the bible praise the lord praise the rest lord. of the names are not revealed to us therefore we are not allowed to uh, name them praise the lord, praise uh, lord. hallelujah hallelujah and now these are spiritual beings and what how do we how do they communicate they have intellect they have will how do they communicate the mode of communication for them is through will through will they have a will in their will and this will speak to the other angels will so the will to will mind to mind communication they don't need to open their mouth and speak and explain uh, everything just one glance within a fraction of seconds they grasp the whole picture for example when i see jeremiah so uh, when i see jeremiah when i look at him i have to ask him where are you from what's your name who are your parents when was you born and where was you born all the details i need to discuss and he has to speak if he doesn't speak i won't understand more so i have to interact and it will lot of time to understand his character his nature the more he speak the more i live with him i know i will come to know him it will take lot of time so he is here for more than uh, two years here in divinity center but still i did not understand him fully and i need more time so this because uh, that's how human beings even sometimes languages are insufficient or uh, everything is insufficient so i need lots of time but to know him the angel of god needs not even a second to know him in and through full details everything within a fraction of seconds he grasp it because he doesn't need any uh, language it is a, it's its will that grasp the whole picture together he grasp it so there is no need of thinking planning and all these things for angels because their mode of mode of communication is will to will mind to mind praise the lord praise the lord praise the lord praise the lord but at the same time remember the angels are not permitted they don't have an access to your mind they cannot go inside of your mind and pick the things from your mind they are not allowed only god can read your mind only god knows what is there in your mind nobody else not even angels the angels are not allowed they don't have the capacity to read your mind but since they are super intelligent beings they will come to know what is there in your mind through your expressions behaviors attitude your past present and future the way you live the way you interact they instantly come to know what is in your mind not because they are able to read it from your mind but because they are able to comprehend by looking at you and your expressions and behavior so this is how the angels good angels and also bad angels will be able to read you praise the lord praise the lord praise the lord, praise the lord. Uh, hallelujah hallelujah uh, hallelujah hallelujah 
so this is very important my dear brothers and sisters god doesn't reveal your secrets to anyone not even to angels unless he wants to do something great he wants to bring something good out of it he may reveal secrets certain secrets of your mind and he may reveal to the angels and also maybe may reveal to certain human beings those have the gift of uh, discerning and gift of wisdom gift of word of knowledge so only certain things not everything some people may say oh i look at you i know all the secrets of you looking at you some people may claim that they know all the secrets of you excuse me it will not happen that is a lie because all the secrets of your life cannot be uh, will not be revealed to someone unless god has a plan even if god has a plan he wants to reveal all the secrets to somebody praise the lord praise the uh, lord. hallelujah hallelujah so because the data protection god also keeps praise the lord praise he the is lord. committed to it he doesn't leak it so unless it is going to be a, something good for you and better for you and some conversion for you and something best the best is going to come out of it praise the lord praise the lord. Uh, hallelujah. hallelujah thank you jesus thank you jesus i can feel many people are relieved now it's because uh, when you come to know that all the secrets are not revealed to everyone praise the lord praise uh, hallelujah lord. hallelujah now every angel once he is appointed to take care of one individual um you know the what is the attitude of angel angels they love god so much and they know god loves human beings so much therefore the angel who is appointed to take care of me he loves god by loving me 100% he by loving me 100% he is loving god because he knows god loves me praise the lord praise the lord so for example if i have a if i have something very special maybe some responsibility maybe some responsibility which is so dear to me i entrusted somebody said please do take care of it because this is something which is so dear to me please do take care of it if that person who takes this responsibility if he really loves me he will make sure to take care of this responsibility wholeheartedly because that is how he expresses his love for me praise the lord praise the lord. same way angels love god so much because they express their love by loving individual people whom they are supposed to take care of praise the lord, praise the lord. hallelujah hallelujah me we have seen many a time we see angels guardian angels with the wings some of them have two some of them have four wings and you see so many you know angels that are depicted with wings do you think the angels have wings the wings are a symbol symbolic why the wings are the symbolic the swift swiftness swift to, in order to show the swiftness of angels now they are here and next moment they will be in some other places they don't they are not omnipresent they are not omnipresent but they are so fast if they are here they can uh, at the same time they cannot be in many places because they are not omnipresent they are on one place and sometimes the higher levels of angels give some special blessings to the lower grade of angels and they will be able to be um, you know by location and multi location omnipresence but basically the angels do not have this omnipresence but they are so fast therefore they can be here right now next second they can be in africa another second within next second they can be in united states or some other place because the swiftness praise the lord praise uh, hallelujah. hallelujah so you may think why how do i know all these details the this is this is from the teachings of the church fathers especially there are so many church fathers who spoke about it and not only that the church fathers but also from the biblical examples and not only the biblical examples but also from the teachings of saint thomas aquinas teachings of saint pop gregory the great and there are so many uh, saints who had confrontation they had confront they have an en an encounter with the angels of god and that's how it was revealed to them let us read one example why do i say this that um, the angels cannot have 
omnipresent. They are not omnipresent, but they are so swift. They can be very fast because we read in book of Daniel chapter 10 verse 10. Book of Daniel chapter 10 verse 10. We read, you know, if you read book of Daniel, you will come to know many secrets of angels. One of the another secret is God has appointed angels not only for the human beings, but also for institutions, important buildings, to a village, to a parish church, to a diocese, and to a state, to a country. God has appointed angels to guard them. Saint Michael was a guardian of Israel. Saint Michael was a guardian of Israel. And Saint Michael is also a guardian of the church. An angel appointed to protect. Praise the Lord. Praise because the Lord. church is the new Israel. And here we see the guardian angel of Daniel was Saint Michael. So let us read here the uh, guardian angel. Sorry, uh, book of Daniel chapter 10 verse 10. Let us read. But then a hand touched me and roused me to my hands and knees. Verse 11. We read. He said to me, Daniel, greatly beloved, pay attention to the words that I am going to speak to you. Stand on your feet, for I have now been sent to you. So while he was speaking this word to me, I stood up, trembling. He said to me, Dan do not fear, Daniel. For from this first day that you set your mind to gain understanding and to humble yourself before your God, your words have been heard and have come because of your words. Angel said, it's an angel. Uh, I have come because of your words. Because the moment you prayed, your prayers are heard in heaven. I am sent by God to come and help you. Next one. 13. But the prince of Persia opposed me. 21 days. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. The prince of Persia means another guardian angel of Persia. This is not a good angel, bad angel. There are good angels and bad angels. Praise the Lord. Praise the so Lord. the fallen angels are all bad angels. The other angels who did not fall down are the good angels who are obedient and submissive to God the Father. Is the good angels. There are some one third or uh, uh, of uh, fallen angels so these fallen angels are the bad angels this the prince of persia means the bad angel was taking control of persia praise the lord, praise the lord. do not fear daniel for from the first day okay verse 13 but the prince of the kingdom of persia opposed me 21 days 21 days i was blocked when the guardian angel of daniel came he was blocked by the prince of persia another angel if angel is omnipresent, even if he is blocked, he can be present in another place. But he is omni, not omnipresent. That is why the angel of Persia, the bad angel, could stop this angel. And for 21 days, wherever he comes, he blocks. The, per, the prince of Persia, uh, the bad angel, blocks the good angel. Wherever, anytime when he moves, comes this way, comes that way, come here, this bad angel come and block. 21 days because the whole Persia is controlled by bad angel because the people in that country who are worshipping wrong gods they were not obedient that is why the bad angel is so powerful here if if a family is committing sins after sins that family is controlled by bad angel not guardian angel guardian angel will be helpless in that family because the bad angel is controlling that family and that way, the bad angel can block the good angel. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. And if anybody prays from that family, the prayer need not be effective. Because the bad angel block the blessings that comes from God. Just like Daniel is so holy, but he was in the land of Persia. And all the people in Persia were com committing sins. They all were worshipping wrong gods. Therefore, the prayer of Daniel, since he was so good, the prayer reached heaven and God sent a helper, an angel to protect him. But this angel was blocked by the bad angel. Not just for one or two days, but 21 days. That means the blessing was delayed. Many places, many times, blessing may be delayed, delayed from your for your family, 
because maybe the family is controlled by bad angel how do we know whether a family is controlled by bad angel or a good angel if that family when husband speaks to wife wife understand everything when wife speaks to a husband husband understand everything when the parent speaks to the children children understands everything the same way there is communication a proper communication is taking place and there is unity there is peace in the family that means that house the family is controlled by guardian angel but some families when husband say something with very good intention but wife misunderstands it and wife speaks something with very good intention but husband misunderstands the same way there is disunity small small problems are blown off and made big problem small small misunderstanding the languages are insufficient and then the reactions are very bad and swearing words abusive words confusing confusing words and disunity tension stress fighting shouting yeah, all these kinds of evil things are taking place in a family that means that house is controlled by not an a guardian angel but an angel a bad angel an evil angel in such families even if you pray the prayers need not be heard and instant blessings may not come because the blessings may be delayed that may be that is the reason the church encourages the members of the family to repent of all their sins and go for confession and forgive each other and bring a priest and bless the family bless the house so that the guardian angel will be able to guard that house from that that, that day onwards otherwise though the guardian angel is there he is feeling helpless he is controlled he is blocked by the bad angel just like the bad angel blocked the angel of daniel from coming to him then how did he overcome because saint michael the archangel came and protected we read but the prince of the kingdom of persia opposed me 21 days so michael one of the chief princes came to help me and i left him there with the prince of the kingdom of persia and i have come here praise the lord see this is how the angels are there they are trying their best they are the armies they are the people who are helping us appointed to help us this is act of faith my dear brothers and sisters this is that something that we need to believe praise the lord many people may find it difficult to believe that's why these archangel guardian angels are considered is a childish things that's why they are they are only tell these things to their children they don't tell these things among them but remember if you know padre pio saint padre pio is the one who used the facility of angels maximum padre pio used to tell the people people used to come from all over the world to meet padre pio and many people used to say padre pio shall i take you as my spiritual father then padre pio used to ask the angel and say a guardian angel and says shall i take him then angel say yes or no and then accordingly it says yes then people say i am from america how do i contact you i cannot come every week and every month to uh, you know to italy then padre pio said don't worry any intention you want to any problem you are facing just tell your guardian angel and your guardian angel will tell my guardian angel and my guardian angel will read it out in front of me so this is what padre pio said and that's how padre pio had so many spiritual sons and daughters around the world and he knew them personally because guardian angel was his secretary and this secretary used to remind everything one day when padre pio was sitting and doing something and writing down something very uh, important something who was very seriously writing down then another monk from the same monastery came to talk to him and he was also speaking very something very important but padre pio doesn't seems to be interested and padre pio was not giving any attention to that conversation then the other monk got irritated and then monk said padre pio don't you listen to me 
then padre pio looked at that monk and said don't you see all these angels sitting around and dictating to me and they are reading out my uh, the the problems of my spiritual sons and daughters i am busy here giving answers to them and this monk got shocked and he got up and went so there are so many examples like this one day one lady uh, was a spiritual daughter of padre pio and this lady said padre pio how do i contact you padre pio said uh, uh, you, you speak to you all speak to your guardian angel and then this lady was not ready to believe if i speak to a guardian angel will you be able to hear it then padre pio looked at her sternly and said do you think i'm deaf so this is what padre pio asked that lady and then she went back and she was doubting it and in order to test for one of the anniversaries ordination anniversaries of uh, padre pio she spoke to her guardian angel said and said guardian angel please go and give my regards to padre pio on his anniversary day and then it was anniversary was after some days uh, 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 sorry the next day was the anniversary and then next day on the anniversary day she got a thanksgiving card from padre pio the next day itself that means this and wishing greetings was already new to known to padre pio and padre pio had written down the thanksgiving letter already and and the thanksgiving letter said thanks for your greetings on my ordination day so there are so many miracles there are so many uh, uh, you know wonderful examples of uh, padre pio and the guardian angel of padre pio praise the lord a uh, hallelujah. hallelujah thank you jesus, thank you, jesus. praise you jesus a uh, hallelujah hallelujah and padre pio had a translator this guardian angel used to translate all the letters padre pio used to get from different languages different from the different parts of the world the guardian angel used to translate all these things praise the lord praise uh, hallelujah. hallelujah and you know my dear brothers and sisters as i told you every house has got a guardian angel every country has got a guardian angel when i am born as a child in the womb of my mother i was appointed i had an angel appointed to take care of me but there are scholars the church fathers and the saints used to say on the day i received ordination there is one more angel appointed to help me the same way when a bishop is consecrated on the day of his consecration there is one more higher grade uh, uh, angels are appointed to take care of that bishop the same way pope to pope and to take care of pope powerful angels are appointed praise the lord praise so lord. we should have a communication with this angel the more the communication the more you are empowering your angel padre pio's angel was so busy our angels may be very taking rest because we are not giving them any work so uh, but padre pio's angel was so busy because padre pio had constant communication with this guardian angel and therefore he was so happy to work day and night every time so the more you have communication with your angel the more you are empowering them to take control of you to rule you to guide you to lead you to help you so please make sure that you have a communication with your guardian angel every now and then that is why mother, uh, mother uh, you know our lord jesus used to have a communication with the angels that is why every time when he was in loneliness every time he was in worries angels were there to guard at the 40 days of fasting angels were there garden of gethsemane angel was there even after the resurrection angels came in the tomb and also when he ascension of our lord jesus angels were there angels were always surrounding jesus if jesus was, sur was surrounded by angels remember all of us are surrounded why these concept of guardian angels are very important for us remember as i told you the moment you are born an angel is appointed to take care of you what does it mean it means you are so special to god you're not one among seven billion people here on earth on this earth 
for you individually personally only for you god the father appointed an angel to take care of you to serve you what does it mean you are unique you are special you are you know god is concerned of you he is not just looking at you as one among one seven point seven billion people but he look, looks at you personally it's a personal communication personal touch personally you are so important you are so in, unique in order to show the importance and uniqueness and your special qualities or special uh, aspects of you and that is why the concept of angels guardian angels are very important praise the lord a uh, hallelujah. hallelujah and what are the duties of these guardian angels they collect all your prayers all the prayers that you have they collect it and read it out in the presence of god let us read gospel of matthew chapter 18 verse 10 gospel of matthew chapter 18 verse 10 we read like this 18 10 take care that you do not despise one of these little ones for i tell you in heaven their angels continually see the face of my father in heaven there is a constant relationship with your angel and heavenly father the moment you have some reaction in your body father comes to know because your angels are the ambassadors sent by god to take care of you they will inform every detail of your life instantly in the presence of god the father therefore if you hurt somebody remember somebody will be crying against you in the presence of god someone will be crying against you because when you hurt a small ones when you hurt another person his or her guardian angel will give a witness against you in the presence of god that is why we read genesis chapter chapter 4 verse 7 we read like this god said to cain okay not uh, 7 uh, let us read chapter 4 verse 9 let's read and the lord said what have you done listen your brother's blood is crying out to me from the ground the moment you killed your brother your brother's blood is crying out to me this is nothing but the guardian angel crying out to god against whom against cain let us also read when god was uh, about to destroy sodom and gomorrah genesis chapter 18 verse 20 onwards then the lord said how great is the outcry against to sodom and gomorrah how very grave their sin when so people of Sodom and Gomorrah, they were enjoying their life, committing all kinds of dirty sins. They were enjoying, you know, uh, enjoying all fleshly sins. And then from where did this outcry come? If they are enjoying their life with all the fleshly sin, then who was the one who was crying against them? Bible says there was a great outcry against Sodom and Gomorrah. But in Sodom and Gomorrah, everyone is enjoying their sinful life. Then who is the one who cried? How great is the outcry against Sodom and Gomorrah. And how very grave their sin. Verse 21. I must go down and see whether they have done all together according to the outcry that has come to me. And if not, I will know. What does it mean? This outcry is the cry of the guardian angels of all of them. When they were committing all the terrible sins, their guardian angel was crying out in front of God. Praise the Lord these guardian angels are there to cover you protect you but don't hurt them if you hurt your guardian angels they will cry against you in the presence of god exodus chapter 23 verse 20 exodus chapter 23 verse 20 let us read god said to moses and israels i am going to send an angel in front of you i am going to send an angel in front of you to guard you on the way to bring you to the place that i have prepared the angels are appointed to guard them and lead them and to bring them to the right place and what did continue reading verse 21 be attentive to him listen to the guardian angels because they speak to you you know when you do something good you don't you hear some voice speaking to you do this do this don't do that don't do that 
as if somebody is speaking to you you hear the voice you say my conscience speaks to me and my something else speak to me you say that but it is the guardian angel who speaks to you not only the guardian angel speaks to you even bad angel also speaks to you so listen you have to be attentive to the good angel's voice that is why bible says god said be attentive if you are not so giving attention you may not listen to the voice of the angel be attentive to the to him and listen to his voice do not rebel against him when you don't obey his command when you don't obey his voice you are rebelling against the angel and he says do not rebel against him for he will not pardon your transgression because my name is in him my name means my presence so if you disobey him he you are disobeying me when you don't listen to the voice of archangel or guardian angels you are disobeying me because they carry my name that is why all the angels name you know gabriel rafael and uh, michael you know last el el means elohim 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 means god himself so there his name is there in every angel so his name is an angel so therefore god says for he will not pardon your transgression there will be an outcry if you commit sin against them against if you don't listen to their voice they will cry against you in my presence because their face is always in front of me praise the lord praise the lord verse 22 verse 22 continue reading but if you listen attentively to his voice and do all that i say then i will be an enemy to your enemies and a foe to your foes and if you listen attentively to his voice and do all that i say that means when you listen to the voice of the angel you are obeying god himself but if you listen attentively to his voice and do all that i say praise the lord praise, praise the lord praise and the lord. what are the they will always give us the right direction they are the people who protect us from dangers they will cover us with your is uh, with his protection let's read psalm 91 verse 11 and 12 Psalm 91 verse 11 for he will command his angels concerning you to guard you in all your ways god has commanded his angels concerning you to guard all your ways on their hands they will bear you up so that you will not dash your foot against a stone the angels will guard you protect you cover you sometimes god also permits some sufferings angels there to console you when jesus was going through the suffering angel did not take away the suffering but consoled in the suffering in the garden of gethsemane when he was sweating blood angel did not stop him from sweating blood but after sweating the angel came and consoled and strengthened him so that is two ministries for example padre pio he used to be attacked by the devil tortured by devil many a time he used to have lots of persecution in his room one day padre pio said padre pio was preaching about speaking about his guardian angel and he said one day i was in terrible pain because the evil one was torturing me left and right then i cried for help and i told my guardian angel come fast and help me but he didn't come and i was being tortured tortured at the end i was i fell down the devil left me after torturing me and then i was so tired and sitting then this guy came he said my guardian angel that sweet man came and he then i was so angry with my with my guardian angel i want to punish him for not coming in time therefore i turned my face from him then he started dancing around me the angel guardian angel started dancing around me singing majestic hymns to the heavenly father in order to get my attention but i purposely hide my face from him to show my anger against him then he came and hugged me and st- uh, uh, sat in front of me this is what padre pio said and looked and took my face and looked at my face and then wiped my tears and then i was so disturbed i was so painful i looked at him and said why didn't you come in time 
I cried you. It's not because I did not cry and ask your help. I asked your help but you did not come. Then the angel said, My friend, this is because your vocation is different. It was the will of the heavenly father that you may go through this pain, this suffering so that you will become more like Jesus. You will become more and more like Jesus. Jesus loves you so much and he wants you to be with him once and for all. And he knows you are able to take this. And that's why he permitted this. So angel gave an explanation about everything. And Padre Pio said, I hugged my angel. I was so happy that God has got a plan. And he was also giving the strength. And his presence, the guardian angel's presence for that two, three seconds, or maybe some, some moments that he experienced the, the angel's uh, presence. He said, all my tortures, all the hours of torture which I went through from the devil, it just vanished within no time. And I was full of joy, full of tremendous joy and happiness in my heart, which I can't explain. Within a fraction of seconds I was filled with. So this may be the same which Jesus experienced in Garden of Gethsemane. All this pain which he was going through, the shedding of blood, sweating of blood, and all the terrible pain he was going through for many hours in the Garden of Gethsemane. But at the end of everything, angels came and strengthened him. Within a fraction, a fraction of seconds, everything disappeared. Praise the Lord. So this is what angels are appointed to do. They are supposed to take care of you. On their hands, they will bear you up so that you will not dash your foot against a stone. Praise the Lord. Yes. Uh, hallelujah. hallelujah. Book of Job chapter 33 verse 23. Book of Job chapter 33 verse 23. We read like this. Why is light given to one who cannot see the way whom God... Uh, then if there, is, there should be far for one of them an angel, a mediator, one of, the one of a thousand, one who declares a person upright... The angels are the people who declare a person upright. They help you. They guide you. They lead you. Book of Tobit chapter 12 verse 12. Book of Tobit chapter 12 verse 12. We read like this. Book of Tobit chapter 12 verse 12. When Tobias was helped by angel Raphael. Angel Raphael was helping. And so now when angel Raphael said to Tobit and Sarah. And Tobit and uh, the whole family. So now when you and Sarah prayed. Angel Raphael said to Tobias. And said so now when you and Sarah prayed. It was I who brought and read the record of your prayer before the glory of the Lord. And likewise whenever you would bury the dead. So, so now when you Tobit and Sarah, Sarah prayed. So now when you and Sarah prayed. It was I who brought and read the record of your prayer before the glory of the Lord and likewise whenever you would bury the dead. Let's read, continue reading verse 13. And that time when you did not hesitate to get up and leave your dinner to go and bury the dead. And that time when you did not hesitate to get up even when you are busy with your dinner enjoying your sumptuous meal when you came to know that someone is dead and lying down on the road you got up and gave the proper burial for that dead person and i remember and i saw it and i read it in front of the heavenly father so it was the angel's duty every good work that you do it is written in the book of remembrance because your angels knows it you are even your secret good work Secret act of good. Your angels, they are writing down and keeping it in the presence of God book of remembrance. Remember, therefore, my dear brothers and sisters, if your good works are not noticed by anybody, be happy. Your guardian angel noticed it. If your good works are noticed by everybody, then you don't need a guardian angel to note it. Because everyone noticed and appreciated. Praise the Lord. Praise so there is for one good work, only one reward. If you got it from others, you won't get it from there. For one evil work, there is only one punishment. If you are punished from your punished by your friends, then God will not punish you again. So if you are punished for your good work or any sin that you commit, if you are punished already, 
there is no more punishment needed because you went through the punishment you just accept it all heartedly and repent praise the lord praise the lord uh, hallelujah hallelujah verse 14 continue reading verse 14 we read and i was sent to you to test you sometimes the guardian angel may permit you to go through a testing period i was sent to you to test you and at the same time god sent me to heal you and sarah your daughter in law so through your guardian angel healing also will come and you can also heal others through your guardian angel just like padre pio healed many people through his guardian angel praise the lord praise a hallelujah hallelujah. A hallelujah hallelujah let us read verse 15 verse 15 let it read i am raphael one of the seven angels who stand ready and enter before the glory of the lord so this is what he said i am one of the angels who stand ready the angels are ever ready ever ready to do anything that the lord says praise the lord praise the lord let's read revelation chapter 8 verse 2 and 3 revelation chapter 8 verse 2 and 3 let's read and i saw the seven angels who stand before god and seven trumpets before were given to them seven angels continue verse 3 another angel with a golden censer came and stood at the altar he was given a great quantity of incense to offer with the prayers of all the saints on the golden altars that is before the throne all the prayers of these people are read out by the angel in the presence of god the father Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Uh, hallelujah. hallelujah. Thank, you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. You know, we have so many millions and millions of angels. There are higher gradations. The highest form of angels are seraphim who stand close to God. And then cherubim, then thrones, and then dominions, then virtues, and then their powers, then principalities, archangels, and angels. So these are the different categories of angels. Praise the Lord. Uh, hallelujah. hallelujah you know each angel is a separate species they are not one you know they are not one family one character for example human beings are one species birds are another species animals are another species the trees are another species there are different varieties of species all the human beings are one species the same way one angel is one species another angel is another species Otherwise, maybe because there will be groupism. Oh, we are one group and you are another group. There is no more groupism is needed because all the angels are individual species. And each species, each angel, he reflects one perfection of God. Each angel reflects one perfection of God, one quality of God. Each angel is adoring and honoring one perfection of God. Then you can imagine how many perfections of God. How many millions and millions of perfection attributes and qualities of God. For each quality of God, there is one angel adoring and honoring this uh, one quality of God. Praise the Lord. Praise let the Lord. us read. Let us read Isaiah chapter 6 verse 6 onwards. Isaiah chapter 6 verse 6 onwards. Then one of the seraphs flew to me holding a life, a live coal that had been taken from the altar with a pair of tongs. Verse 7. The seraph touched my mouth with it and said, Now that this has touched your lips, your guilt has departed and your sins are blotted out. Verse 8. Then I heard the voice of the Lord saying, Whom shall I send? See, first angel came and cleansed his tongue then he is able to hear the voice of god that means angels are the people who are preparing you to listen to the voice of god angels helps you to listen to the voice of god they come and cleanses you they tell you go for confession go for confession there are many people not going for confession though the angels told you many times go 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 but you are rejecting rejecting and listening to the devil evil bad angels Every time when you listen and obey the bad angel, you are denying the good angel's advice. Why good angel is telling you to do something? Because he is preparing you to listen to the God, voice of God. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Luke 15.10. Luke 15.10. We read, 
our angels are so passionate lovers of human beings our guardian angel is a passionate passionate lover of a human being just so i tell you there is joy in the presence of the angels of god over one sinner who repents when you repent one person repents there is lots of joy in heaven because they are so passionately loving you praise the lord okay my dear brothers and sisters there are lots of things to speak about angels and so many realities about angels because these are all revealed to our church fathers and saints of the church so this is the reality which is written very clearly in the bible therefore believe in your guardian angels listen to their voice honor them and respect them and all we speak to them they will speak to you and you will be able to hear the voices of god and listen your house should be controlled by a guardian angel not an angel of devil but god's angel how do you know look into your life and see whether there is peace and joy and happiness if so your house is safe let's close our eyes and pray mm -hmm.